Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. This is a video on how to duplicate raw materials. So you don't have to run around and go and try and scavenge them. If you've done that and you've been around and you know how tedious it is, um, or if you just need to go and find that they're useful and this again this is just for those that don't want to use mods or don't have mods or you know, just want to try and keep the game as vanilla as possible this is a way so this is a, an old method it's been around for a long time it still works fine um, and, and the other thing that you can use it for is you can actually uh, use it to to build up your XP because the more materials you have if you start building stuff then every time you build stuff you Will get XP. So if you wanted to level up or you just wanted to build stuff um, without having to go and, and find a whole bunch of materials uh, and just do the settlement stuff, uh, especially when the things like glass, you go to vendors uh, like the doctors and they sell you only 25 glass, which is just really not enough if you're trying to build a glass building. Uh, you need a, a ton of glass to do that. So the, the one of, one of the suggestions is to empty your your workshop. So pick a pick one of your settlements to do this. Uh, you kind of want to have one with that doesn't have a a floor that you built. It just makes it easier to pick up stuff. Otherwise, you it sometimes will fall under the, the floor. Or if you pick up if, if you have some deck, then um, then you'll pick up the deck and the the, the pieces will fall underneath and. Right, so so this is kind of a the the red rocket which where I'm at at the moment, it, 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 one that I've chosen just for that reason. It's got that concrete floor, but dirt dirt is. It. So the whole idea is, uh, if you want to make this a little bit more efficient, you can empty your workshop. I, I tend to not do that myself, but. I've got these extra containers. I have done that in the past where you go there. It'll just, and the only reason you want to empty your workshop is it'll just save you some time scrolling down um, and trying to find the item that you. So, but normally, normally you don't have to do that. I don't find it too difficult or time wasting to do that. But if you wanted to empty your workshop, then do that. Or just, you have one item, will just make it a little bit more. Right? So. Let's try and duplicate the asset 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that the asset 14. Um, so if we look into our junk, we have asset 14. So we're going to be right over here. Go into our inventory. And we are going to drop it. Okay. We are then going to go into workshop mode. Okay, and we are going to go over top of it. Now, it's a little tricky to do this. Um, on the Xbox, you have to hit the X and the A button. So what, what I find the easiest way to do this is you kind of start, you hold down the X and the A, and you kind of go over to the B button. So you want to hold down X and A, and then you go to the B button in one switch in one um, swift swoop, if you will, right? So you you kind of have to play around with it, what works best for you. I just hold it on the side of my thumb and then I kind of kind of go down in a, in a downwards motion to the right. Let's go grab it again. So that's why if you have an FT workshop, it just makes things Okay, you want to make it a, a clicking noise, and I'll show you what I mean. So, you heard it kind of click there, and then it came up, and it says, do you want to store in the workshop mode? In this case, because I heard that click, I want to say yes. Sometimes it'll do this, but you won't hear that clicking noise, which means it did not duplicate, right? Um, but in this case, it did, so we're going to take a look. And there you go. We went from 14 to 28 uh, in, one, in one motion, right? So, do that again. And obviously, the more you duplicate the same item, the bigger the number. It's just going to keep doubling, 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 doubling. The other thing you can do is you can actually, now you have two items. Um, your fingers are going to get pretty sore pretty quick. So 
I suggest what you do is when you have multiple items, you scrap them, and then you come back, so we will scrap them, and what will happen then is it will create a single item. And that way you don't, uh, you don't. Okay, so as you notice, we went from two down to one. Okay, so we are going to do this again. Uh, X and A. Okay, I don't think that worked there. Let's go take So there you go, you heard that kind of almost like a click there and so yes and so, so there you go so it's really that simple um, so hold on your X and A slide your finger kind of downwards I use the side of my finger I find it uh, more uh, it works better that way and then you kind of go to the right onto your B button so it's X and A then hit B all in one one motion And that's kind of the worst thing you want to do is you don't want to take everything out of. Uh... So, so a good idea is to save um, just so you don't you don't um, remove everything out of the workshop. Pull that back. Now, I don't have too much in this workshop, so that, that that's. Probably another good idea why they say empty your workshop is uh, if you do actually pull everything out and put it in your inventory, um, you don't have to deal with, with a lot of that, right? So I have this box here and I just put all the weapons here. All these weapons. Now you can do them twice, you don't have to put you scrap them, but sometimes you do this and then you get it the first time or you get it the second time rather. And I got it neither. You get tired pretty quick. Also, don't do it right after you've eaten because your fingers are greasy. This makes things much worse and your fingers will get sore very, very quickly after you eat. Just make sure you've got very dry, clean hands. Nope. You also find when you get tired, it becomes much harder to do as well. So try not to do too much at once. Just do it slowly and then just... Especially if you're first going to do it, um, your fingers are going to get sore very quickly. But once you've done it for a while or over like a week, then you'll find your, your, your fingers will adapt a little bit. There you go. We have... And the higher the number you get, you'll get to 1,000, we'll return it to 2,000, to 4,000, to 8,000, to 16. And then, yeah, once you get into those higher numbers, then it goes really quickly. It's just, uh, the more you can start with, the easier it is. Um, if you notice you're getting low on stuff like rubber, for instance, uh, you know, if you have 100, then start doing it at 100 or 200 or 300 versus uh, 1 or 2. But in some cases, like the, the ballistic fiber or the fiber optics, probably only a few pieces or you just don't feel like going to get it uh, or more pieces. Um, the other thing you can do is go to a vendor and just buy buy uh, a bunch from them first and then duplicate it and you can buy a higher quantity a higher quantity of the item and then it just makes things a lot quicker. 
it's more than you well there you go I hope you found that useful um, I, I do have another video on on duplicating weapons but, uh, construction that I, I duplicate weapons in uh, you need the contraptions workshop but it allows you to do, do but it allows you to do, duplicate some of those legendary weapons if you want to give them to a companion it is a bit of a tedious process but it does work um, but it's just not a mass a produce producer so you're not going to produce a whole ton of weapons quickly um, but if you wanted to duplicate that one or two weapon um, and give it to your companion or give a few to one one to each settlement then uh, it does take probably like about 15 minutes to kind of duplicate a weapon uh, to get the timing right but once you have the timing right and you've done it a few times it gets a little bit easier but initially it's quite difficult to do right but but there you go you can actually build a contraption if you don't want to use mods uh, using the tools I give you and you can duplicate some weapons there you can also duplicate some armor so I have a video on how to duplicate power armor so if you find that um, if you went and got the, the quantum power armor from Nuka World and you wanted to duplicate it and give it to your companion that's what I do um, especially if you play in survival and in, in any of the other modes you don't really need power armor especially not in normal power armor is pretty useless when I first started playing I, I didn't even know why power armor was even in the game but when you start playing survival you learn very quickly how useful power armor is it does save you from landmines and grenades you still die quite quickly in it though well there you go Again, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe to the channel.